Good morning. We're cutting out this circuit board here, and um, we set it up on the CNC machine. I've already cut one of these, and this is actually the same piece of printed circuit board that I used to cut the original ones however long ago I built them. So all I'm doing here is drilling out the holes for the, um, for the six ball bearings that go on there that uh, support the probe. And the setup on this is I just took a piece of scrap wood and a piece of three-quarter inch plywood, screwed them together, set it up in the vise, and then I took a fly cutter, leveled off the top of that piece of plywood, and I just screwed this piece of circuit board down to uh, get it out of the way. Um, quick and dirty setup, you know, if I'm just doing a one-off, or in this case I cut three more of these printed circuit boards, I'm never going to do this again probably, and if I do, I'll set up the same setup. There's no sense in doing any specialized fixturing or anything like that. Um, I think this is a 332nd end mill, and what I'm doing is just machining the slots out in the top to, to break the circuit. Um, those are the bridge points for the, uh, for the probe balls to go on, so that you have to have their separation between the, the three, um, three little brass bars that contact the, the ball bearings to complete the circuit. Um, this is a quick and dirty setup. I didn't worry about heights. I didn't worry about tool paths. I didn't do anything except just lay it out so that I got the got the things done. Um, there again, quick and dirty setup. I want it to be right, but by the same token, there's no sense in spending a whole lot of time on doing something that that is going to be perfectly functional this way. You're never going to see it, and it's going to do exactly what it's supposed to do. So I don't optimize tool paths. I don't do any of that stuff. Um, this could be built several different ways. The only reason I'm doing it with the, with the CNC mill is because I can. Um, this could just as easily be be um, an etch circuit board. You know, there's lots of tutorials on doing the, the etches. The only thing that's precision about this at all is the placement of the six ball bearings because you want them to be consistent in the right place so you've got the same contact across all three contact points with the brass bars. So uh, we're just letting it run here. Um, I cut the centers out of these once we got the, once we got the uh, circuit board top uh, levels cut and its heights are not exact here or anything there we just pulled the center out and um, it's still cutting deep I, there again I didn't worry about depths too much I wanted to make sure I was deep enough on this so it's going to go back and do the exact same thing on the uh, outer perimeter and I have to catch it and make sure it doesn't sling it across the shop you know this is just like I grabbed the, the uh, little center button out of there with a pair of needle nose pliers. I'm going to do the same thing on the exterior of this. And um, quick and simple little setup. You know, this is a this is the uh, way that I've chosen to do this part. Like I say, several ways it can be done. Um, cutting the, the center hole in the outer perimeter could be done by hand. It could be, you know, the center could probably be cut out with a hole saw. It could be drilled out, filed out if you didn't have any other manner of doing it. Outside could be done the same way and smoothed out on a belt sander. There's no real, there's not really anything that's critical about it other than it has to set down in the in the probe body and not make contact with the outer. You know, it's got to be isolated so that it doesn't ground itself any place and short it out. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. So we're just going to let it run here once it gets done, which is just about done doing. Why well, I've shown a, a little bit of the of the. Uh, circuit board itself, you get a little bit close up, it's still got to be cleaned up and be burred. You know, they've got some copper that's torn on the edges of it and stuff like that. But um, otherwise, it's a quick little simple thing. Here's the, here's the uh, completed circuit board. Like I say, I cut three of these. I'm using two of them. And uh, there's what it looks like. Like I say, we just clean those edges up, polish them down a little bit, sand them down with a little piece of sandpaper, and it's a done deal. So we'll solder them up next and get that all put together. Hopefully you found something a little entertaining here. If you did, why uh, you might want to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. And if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. You might want to share them. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch.